welcome back to our creative video sessions. My name is Pam Hayes. I'm Hayes Sewing Machine Company. And just today we are going to do a sewing machine cover. And it's a really cute panel that we got into the store. It has vintage camper. And if you take a look, this is the side. I just thought these were cute. And it comes in two different sizes. And the large size is roughly 18 by 13 by 8, so 17.5, 12 and a half by 8. Then they also have the small. I'm doing the large one today. And both of them come on the one panel? Yes. Um, and well, you have to choose, you know, which size you're going for. Mm -hmm. And it all depends on where you cut. So you see that I've cut along the outside edge, so I'm doing the large. Oh, gotcha. Um, if you wanted to do the small, you would cut along the inside. It does have half inch seam allowances. And this is the sides as well. So I thought they were cute. <laughs> all right. Got little lights. Little lights and everything. And there is Pam, a... Pam knows that I love my lights on my on my deck. Absolutely. They make me happy. They make you happy. <laughs> um, and they'll give you nice step-by-step -step instructions, but that's basically what we're shooting for. Nice. All right. Basically, what you're going to be needing is you are going to need... Um, it talks about fusible interfacing. Uh, we just did fusible fleece to mm -hmm. give it a little bit of extra bit. Uh, you need approximately a yard of that. And let's get started. Alrighty, so you're going to sew, this is one of the sides, and it has a pocket that you can do your dividers mm -hmm. in. So when we start that on the pocket itself, and the pockets don't have any interfacing, nor does the handle, okay? But everything else is going to. Uh, you're going to flip it twice, and we are going to stitch our hem on the top of our pocket. And we're just going to sew straight down down. I just chose white thread today. You could drive yourself crazy changing all of the different colors. Alrighty. So once we have this guy, we are now going to take and see how we're going to line him up so that it is across the bottom. Throw a couple of pins in there and they want you to kind of baste it on so it doesn't shift or doesn't move. Try to line up the lines, you know, as best you can. And we're going to take, and remember, if you're doing a, a base, lengthen out your stitch a little bit. So I'm up around four. And I'm just going to go inside my half-inch seam allowance. I'm running it at about at a quarter. Quarter inch in from the raw edge? Yep, quarter inch in from the raw edge. At this point, they also give you the suggestion of if you want to do dividers for scissors, that type of thing, this is the time to do it. So we're just going to go and start from the bottom, I would, and go up to the top. Just hit my reverse there. And you can be at a normal length of stitch for doing this. And then when you get up to the top, just hit your reverse. And then we're going to go and do the next one over. If you had something specific that you were going to be putting into these side pockets, um, I'd measure it, you know, just see if, you know, 
You mean like if you want to put like a rotary cutter? Rotary or cutter. Kind of thing, yeah. Make sure the handle's going to fit. And yep. It's going to be all, tight enough. All of the above. All right. Customize so, it. Customize it. Absolutely. <laughs> customize it. All right. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to do the handle. They want you to basically sew half. Okay. So when you fold it in half, you're going to sew one end and then stitch down on the other. So again, remember, we're going to do our half inch seam allowance. And if you're a quilter, boy, this is going to seem huge. So we're just going to sew across. Flip it around. And before you cut that, I love the way you left that. Yep. Just so we can remember. Nice. I would never have thought to do that. You're going to be trimming it off anyway, but it's just nice so you don't... So you get the right end. The right end. All right. We're going to trim it up, cut across the corner, and we need to turn this. And my favorite way of turning a tube is the fast turn. So the fast turn has two different components. It has the tube itself. Then it has the wire that has the pigtail. You take, slide this in, and traditionally, you're going to kind of fold it over a little bit. And this works whether you have a sewn end or whether you have a um, open doesn't really matter see how i'm twisting it so the pigtail mm -hmm. and if you hold up for a second let me zoom in. maybe a little bit too much there you go all right so the pigtail is going to come through and then it just pulls everything through and every time i do this i want to go Ta -da! <laughs> because to me it's magic. All right, and I use the tube to kind of poke everything out. All right, and then we're going to go and we're just going to give that a quick press. She's pressing. Oh, I'm pressing. <laughs> I'm da -da -da just going to hang out here. Just giving it a quick press. And she's back. And I'm back. So now at this point, they are just reading if they want to do the top stitch. Nope, just press. <clears throat> All right. If you can take a look, I don't know if you can see it. Can you see there's dots on, on either side? Little yellow ones, right? There they are. Mm -hmm. Got it. All righty. And by the way, I just read the instructions. The handle is supposed to be done with a quarter inch seam. <laughs> So what? It doesn't matter. <laughs> but, you know, all sales read the instructions, right? Alrighty. See how I'm just tucking that piece under mm -hmm. the other bit? And there you go. All right. So see how this we're going. This is the, the model version of the um, cover here. So it's got to be like. <laughs> Belt. A little slimmer, yes, <laughs> a little slimmer. All right, so I put my handle basically at that dots. All right, and see, we're just going to stitch down on the ends. Okay. All right, now I would encourage you, it's not like you're going to be lifting, you know, a lot, 
but um, I'm going to use the triple straight stitch, which is a stitch that actually will sew backwards and forwards several times. See how it's moving itself backwards and forwards? Just to make sure it's anchored. Because I don't think you really want to be stitching this on after it's made. So the triple stitch. And again, it's going to have a little bit of gappiness to it. Please remember the whole point of this is the handle. Mm -hmm. All right. So that guy is done. So remember, if you want to have a slimmer handle, do a half inch seam allowance. If you want to have a more robust <laughs> handle, you're going do to do, do a quarter. <laughs> All righty. So when we have this lined Falls up. Falls under the... Some things are important, some things are yeah. not. <laughs> you got it. Now we're going to take <clears throat> and we're going to place the cover back and the cover front to the top. Gotcha. All right. So we're just going to take, pop those together. And they want you to stop stitching at the seam allowances. And there'll be a reason for that. So basically what they want you to do, remember the seam allowance here is the half inch. Mm -hmm. So what they want you to do is they want you to stop and start at that half inch. And there will be a method to the madness in just a second. All right, so again, I'm lining it up at my half inch seam allowance. And I'm gonna make sure I stop. And the way I make sh sure to remind myself to stop, I put a pin going across. Mm -hmm. So I know that I'm supposed to stop. It's always good to have that, but sometimes I sit down to the pen and I'm like, oh, yeah. this pin's in my way, let me pull this out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, didn't they have done that too? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's why that was there. That's why that was there. <laughs> All right, so my half inch seam. All right, so you can see that, isn't that going to be cute? Oh, it's going to be adorable. All right, so we've sewn one to the top. And we want to sew the other, and it would be really convenient if the wheels were down. Generally speaking, Generally they roll better that way. They roll better. So again, we're going to line this up. Half inch seam. Half inch seam. Alrighty. And if you needed to, you can mark it with a marking pen or whatever works for you. I'm using my dual feed foot today to help pull everything through. But remember, you could use um, your walking foot at this point. And mostly that because of the uh, fusible fleece? Yep, fusible fleece. Alrighty. Back stitch. And that one is done. Alright. So there you go. So see how this is starting to turn out, right? Mm -hmm. At this point, we're going to put the sides and they were very specific about right and left side so let's make sure we get it Pam mm -hmm. gets it right okay I would say this is the front <coughs> because it's got they, the door and I left front on it <laughs> as the door so if this is the right 
Mm -hmm. I'm going to put this one here. Correct. So we're going to line this up. And this time at the bottom, we are going to sew all the way. But can you see why we stopped? It's going to make it easier for us to pivot. Mm -hmm. All right, so this is the this top. Will up. This will open up. You got it. So it's going to make it easier for us to pivot. And then we're going to go across here. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to want to stop at that seam. So if you have a beginner sewer and you're, you're trying to kind of teach them different skills, this would be a nice panel to work with. All right. So you can see that's what we're looking for. Yep, hold on. Okay. So mm -hmm. that's what the end bit. So we're going to line this up. Again, half inch seam allowance. We're going to do that little mantra to ourselves, half inch seam allowance. Line this up. And they're saying um, try to get the siding lined up if you can. Mm-hmm. OK. So yeah, absolutely. Try to do that. Or you could say that this is either a brand new camper or a camper that's seen a couple of miles. <laughs> if you're not quite where you had in mind. You could always quilt tack that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you could. There's a lady that came into the store and said, I see Loretta has converted you to a quilt tack. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, well. All right. I didn't realize I was going to get such a reputation. <laughs> there you go. Who knew, right? <laughs> All right, we're going to stitch down. And then basically we're going to, that's my corner. Okay. I have my piece. So I've sewn down and I stopped that half inch. Got it. I raise the foot. I then going to shift it along. And now I'm going to sew the other side. Mm -hmm. I will take my bit. So I really only want to be sewing the seam allowances. Now, if you get a little tuck, it's a sewing machine cover. I wouldn't worry overly about it. But you're less likely to get it tucked because you took the time to do oh, the half yeah. inch. You know, stop before the end of the yeah. piece. Mm -hmm. All right, so again, we're going to go. Raise the foot. One more time, I was like, wait a minute, that's not working. There you go. Get everything as flat as I can. And story of life. My thread broke. And because my thread broke, I'm just hitting the back stitch. All right, as I'm coming down the other side, I want to make sure, again, if my camper sides can line up, because we want this to be a brand spanking new camper. I'm just getting my thread out of the way. So all the way down, back stitch, and remember for the hems, for the sides, you are going to go all the way down. And not too shabby. We got our corners in. 
All right. Very nice. All right. So now, guess what? We have to do the other side. So when we line this up, remember. <laughs> Once again, pocket at the bottom. Pocket at the bottom. And we're going to sew basically to our piece there. We're going to go across. I just like to throw a couple of pins in there just to kind of hold it for me. And then we're going to go all the way down to the bottom. This does not have any inside fabric for lining it. Um, it's The hem is just going to be flipped up and, and stitched. Um, if you wanted to get fancy, you could always line it. Um, it's a sewing machine cover. I wouldn't worry mm -hmm. too much about it. No, now just because, you know, Loretta has OCD, um, do the lights line up as well? Do the lights line the up? The string lights on the side panels? They don't. Oh, they, but they, oh, but that's on the front panel, on the back panel? Yeah, but there's no connection. Oh, there's no connection. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> so then you'd, I wouldn't have to worry about it. <laughs> Folks, she's confusing me. It doesn't take much. I'm like, what is she talking about? There's no bit on the side. But yes, if it had some on the side, you'd also line up your string legs. Absolutely. All righty. We're going to go. We're going to sew, remember, half inch seam allowance. Try to make you sure. Think, you think I'm bad about the string lights on this when I was actually putting <laughs> ours up on our deck. <laughs> Trying to get the spacing right. <laughs> Was it something to behold, huh? Um, a little bit, yeah. Little bit, <laughs> Luckily, you put up a wire first, and then you attach the lights to that so you can shimmy them back and forth to get them properly set up. <laughs> <laughs> See, things you didn't know, did you? You didn't know. <laughs> I did not know. When I got home, they were, they were up. <laughs> okay, anyway, back to the little sewing machine cover. Ah, that's sweet. <laughs> All right, we're going across the top. All right, we're going to stop at the half inch seam, raise the foot, swivel along. And Sorry, yes, I'll move that out of the way. I'm lining up my red on the side again. So we want to make sure that we get them lined up. Machine oh, cover. it is just too it's cute. cute. It's just too cute. All right. It's got like the perfect combination. It's got string lights and it's got kitties. And it has kitties. <laughs> All right. So now the bottom. What they basically have you do is they have you do a double hem. So I'm going to just make sure my seams are pressed open, reduce the bulk a little bit. And they want you to flip it. I think they were saying kind of quarter inch, quarter inch type thing. Um, so I'm going to do whatever you do, do it consistently all the way through. A lot of times you could also surge it. Actually, I'm just going to flip it once. It seems a bit bulky. 
but you could serge it if you were worried about it. Mm -hmm. Fusible fleece will keep it from fraying. Yeah. You could also zigzag the edge. There you go. You could do a zigzag just to stitch it up. Yes, you could. All right, two so for one. Two for one. And we're just going to pin this up real quick. What's nice, look at that. Gives me a line. Mm-hmm. Yes, you don't have to measure. You don't have to measure. This would be a cool place to do a decorative stitch. You know, sometimes people go like, oh, I've got all these decorative stitches, but I never use them. This would be an excellent place to do that. Yep. So long as you don't go crazy, you know. Don't do a stitch that has 25 stitches and you've only progressed a quarter of an inch. Yes, like sometimes flower stitches mm -hmm. will do that to you, but um, feather stitches are always nice. All right, just pinning this up real quick. Again, just reducing the bulk if you press the seam open. And you could also press your seams, you know, when you're done, press them open. Um, I, I might do that after the fact. But remember, it's a sewing machine cover. Your sewing machine is not likely to complain. Nope. Oh. I have a sewing machine cover, but I might have to do this one. Because it's, it's just cute. so cute. It is cute. <laughs> For those that like to glamp. Uh-huh. Well, I don't even glamp, but I still think it's cute. <laughs> All right. So we're going to go. And boy, this is farther around than you think. I'm going to pin this up. Those who know you well know that camping is not your thing. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, My hey, idea... Hey, of roughing it is slow room service <laughs> and that is a fact so we've now offended all the campers out yes. there but you know hey and if <laughs> you love camping you go for it we camped we camped as kids i don't like camping <laughs> we camped too much huh yes all right now we're gonna do that actually that zigzag so that sounded like a good idea I'm going to do it at two and a half and two and a half. And I'm going to stitch near the raw edge. Okay? So I'm going to be stitching gotcha. near there. And I think I've started, yes, kind of on this a side. All right, and we're just going to stitch around. This will hold it down, and any fraying that it was going to do will be taken care of. Right. Isn't that looking cute? Oh, yes. Very nice. That's looking cute. All right. So we're going all the way around. Looks like you planned it, Pam. Oh, I know, like, you right? Know. <laughs> <laughs> we auditioned stitches. <laughs> That's kind of embarrassing. I auditioned stitches, and the best thing I could come up with was a zigzag, right? <laughs> all right. We're sewing all the for us. I like that. It gives it a nice edge. It does. Inside and down. Uh, 
All right, coming around to the edge there. Do a little back stitch. And we are done. All right, let's try this out. Turn my machine off. I think this is going nighty night. And there you go. That is cute. Oh, that's adorable. That's that's really cute. And the large size works well because a five series is not a small machine. Yep. On there. Yep. So yeah. Very All cool. right. Thanks for joining us. See you next time.